it is Sunday morning. Well, it's about almost 11 a.m. And this is the start of a new weekly vlog. I'm so glad you can join me. I'm having really a lot of fun making these. I hope you're having a lot of fun watching them. So this is what I kind of plan for this week. As far as reading, I have about an hour left of Death on Tap, which is the first book in the Sloan Krauss Mystery Series by Ellie Alexander. I'm gonna put it right here in that cool cover. It's got, the town is like a Bavarian German town and it is so much fun. I am absolutely loving this series. I'm going to be starting book number two in that series very soon. It's already checked out, but it's on ebook. So I'll also be starting another audiobook that you'll hear, probably hear a lot about too, especially when I'm cooking, because I only have an hour left. I'm gonna have a lot of time for a new audiobook, which is going to be the seventh book in the Lighthouse Library series. So I started this in one of my other vlogs. I put it aside because I had to finish something else. So I'm gonna restart it because I don't know that I can pick it up right where it left off. It is called A Death Long Overdue. It's gonna be right here, it's on my SAS list. As far as cooking today, I'm gonna to be making ham and beans for my husband for the week for him to have for like supper when I work really late. I'm going to be fixing for my lunch a couple things. I'm gonna be making like um, chicken patties and then I'm also gonna be making a um, stir fry and then I'm gonna be baking Finally, I got oranges from the grocery store. So I'm gonna be making Nancy's cranberry orange muffins. So Nancy is a huge part of our Discord and she always joins us for lives um, on our cozy mystery chats. She put this recipe, she sent this recipe to me. I'm so excited to try it. Of course, it'll be all AIP approved ingredients. So hopefully it'll still turn out, but I'm looking forward to that. And I'm also gonna be making this chocolate pomegranate thing that I'm really interested in um, trying. And if I get to it, a couple other things, but we will see. The other thing that I really wanna do sometime this week, probably not today because I also have my author interview in about two hours, is a lot of our neighborhoods has some really cool creative decorations for Halloween. So maybe sometime in the later evening at some point, again, I don't think today because I just have too much to do because I'm also doing laundry and it's, washing our bed sheet week and kind of all those like blah 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 stuff but that I got to get done so I don't think today but sometime through the week I'll take you but I want to do it more like close to evening but not dark yet so that'll be really fun hopefully and I think that's the agenda all right well I will check in with you guys in a little bit all right guys just a very quick check-in um I am starting the first of the cooking today. I'm actually, this is one of the things I forgot to mention. I am making egg muffins. So it's just eggs. Um, I think usually people put milk in them. I'm not going to. And I used my fresh vegetables. I used mushrooms and spinach. And then I'm going to put them in cupcake container and bake them 350 for, I don't know, 10, 12 minutes. I'll just keep checking them. And then I'm also maybe have about, I think 25 minutes left in the Sloan Cross book one, Death on Tap. So I'd definitely be finishing that. And right now I'm gonna go so I can be. Hey everybody, I am back for a check-in. So I just finished my interview not too long ago with Sarah Fox. It was lovely. She was so, so kind. I have made the batter for my cranberry orange. Let me come a little closer. Muffins. Here it is. So I took Nancy's recipe from the Discord group that she sent me. Thank you, Nancy. And I had to obviously do a lot of substitutions for um, it to be AIP compliant. Um, but we will see. One of the biggest substitutes, so I can't do baking powder, but I looked it up and it said that I can mix cream of tartar and baking soda as AIP compliant, and I had those, so I did that. And then I used real orange juice instead of extract because I can't have extract. Um, and I adjusted the measurement just a little bit, so hopefully that goes okay. And then everything else is just the flour that I showed you is the AIP flour that I use. I used a mixture of cassava and tiger nut, about um, half and half, because it was three cups all together, so I did about 1.5 of each. Um, I think those are the main things. So I'm gonna get these in the oven and then I'm going to start some of my lunch stuff for the week. 
The pot in the back is ham and beans that I was talking about. So those are going and at this point just simmering for the rest of the day. I finished Death on Tap by Ellie Alexander and it was amazing. 4.5 cups of coffee. I absolutely loved it. And I have started, again, I started over the uh, Library Lovers Death Long Overdue. I'll put it right here. And I'm going to continue listening to that while I bake some more and, and do my lunch stuff. I will check back in and show you what I'm doing for lunch um, in just a little bit. All right, everyone. So I wanted to show you an update of In the Kitchen. Sorry, let me close my pantry door so it's not just um, chilling open. I restarted the Death Long Overdue, which I mentioned. So in this one, they uh, Lucy is giving a reunion party to... Birdie's classmates from college and the former library director gets so I don't know much more than that but it's as usual and very very good and enjoying it so this is where I am in the kitchen lots going on right now so I have finished my chicken patties I cut them in half each of them <laughs> just because I wanted to make sure that they were done in the middle it's only gonna be me eating them I'm going to also saute some onions to take to put on these so that will be my lunch for for multiple days like a patty each and then the egg cups i wanted to show you what those look like when they were done and again it was i didn't use anything besides egg mushroom and spinach and a little like seasoning salt garlic powder that sort of thing and then here are my cranberry orange muffins i tried one they are really good. I think I needed to up the orange just a little bit since I wasn't using orange extract. I used actual orange juice that I juiced from an orange, but they are delicious. Nancy, thank you very, very much. In the back is more patties going, and then I'm going to uh, make some stir fry coming up in a little bit. That's where I'm at right now, and I will check back in in a little while. Okay, y'all, so I just wanted to check in and show you where I'm at, and I am gonna be taking a walk in just a little bit. I thought I wasn't gonna get it in on Sunday, but I am. So, I have my stir fry, which I'm also gonna take for this week. So it's ground chicken and the soy sauce substitute that I made last week, I just burnt myself, and shredded cabbage and shredded carrots and onion. So, I'm going to be taking a mixture of that and not every day, but I'll switch off and on and the patties that I made. I'm gonna be cooking supper in just a little bit, but I do have some time in between and most of all the house chores are done. So Kairu and I are going to go travel and get some of his energy out on a walk. So I might be able to show you some of those houses I was talking about. On the way, I'm gonna continue listening to death long overdue. I'm really, really enjoying this one. It's so much fun to see Birdie with all of her really college friends. be like, um, skeleton or something at their door. And then they have the trees with the cobwebs. It's really cute. Some pumpkins. So I think this house takes the cake. So they have all these skeletons hanging from, from everywhere. <laughs> but when you get to their garage, I feel fear weird taping people's houses. Really creepy porcelain dolls set up in their garage. They're doing different things. Last year, these same people had. Last year, these same people had the dolls out in their yard, and they had them on rocking horses, and they, um, and like made it mechanical so that the rocking horse would sway and they had them on a, the other hot dolls on a merry go round and it was so and set it to music it was so creepy um here's one more cute thing that i have to show you guys i don't know if i got it in the before picture so they have these tombstones in the yard but then they put these skeleton bodies coming up out of the ground isn't that funny People are so creative. So I dropped Kairu off and I'm a little further away from my house in, in my neighborhood though. And I wanted to show you this one because they have a really cool coffin at their door and a skeleton. All right guys, here's one another one I have to show you. So they have, sorry, there's a plane. 
um, they have a uh, cemetery set up, but on their door they put up these things that look like boards like a keep out in them. All right, so we are just getting ready to sit down for supper. I've been listening to Death Long Overdue. I am, I think about 60% or so. I've been able to listen to it quite a bit today. As far as supper, here is my plate. So mine looks different than his. I made AIP beef tips. So it's just like stewed beef with mushrooms. And then I made like this gravy out of um, the out of beef broth and the flour that I use and a little bit of thickener and I think that was it. Um, broccoli and then this is the cheese sauce. That's the butternut squash and then I just have some cabbage over here. So that is supper. Kevin's having the beef tips as well but he's having it over rice and then he's having broccoli without the cheese sauce. So I think that's it for right now. I'm going to finish eating and then I need to do lunches for tomorrow. I'll check in later with that. All right guys, so this is probably the end of the night check-in. I wanted to show you what we were having for lunch and also wrap up what I got done reading today, except I'm, eh, I doubt I'll get very much more in, but you never know. So my lunch is going to be the stir fry that I showed you earlier. This is um, some spinach dip that I made with all sorts of AIP ingredients. I don't know how good it'll be, but you know, it's something because I'm going to dip my cauliflower in that. And then I have some grapes over here. And then I'm taking one of the cranberry orange muffins and an egg cup. That will be like breakfast and then that will be more of a lunch. So Kevin is taking a Lunchable half adult, half, I guess, child. I don't know how you want to say it. So he's got a pizza sub that I made just in the broiler with a sub sandwich and pizza sauce, pepperoni, cheese. He's also taking cauliflower and some ranch. And then a banana. And then the chips, the barbecue chips, right? Barbecue from the USA Snacks. Since they were open, I wanna get rid of those. And then my grandmother is always sending Kevin home with treats probably to fatten him up a little and she just likes baking for people. So he has got some homemade brownies from grandma. As far as reading, I think I'm on about 75-ish percent in Death Long Overdue. I'm really enjoying this one. Um, I think I kind of gave the synopsis earlier. The um, ex-head librarian is murdered in this at a reunion for Bertie's college classmates. I will update you more in the morning. I have still got to edit a video for tomorrow, so I'm going to go do that. So I probably won't get a whole lot more reading done for this evening. Bye everyone. Hey everybody, it's the end of the night and I just wanted to do a very quick check-in. So let's talk about reading first because that's why we're all here. So I finished Death Long Overdue at work today, which I knew I would because I didn't have much time left in it. I rated it four stars, loved it. I also started the next Jen McKinley, which is something about devil's food, dying in devil's food or something like that. They go to their class reunion and the nemesis, high school nemesis, the one that made fun of Mel for her weight all those years, um, ends up and Mel had just danced with her husband, which seems so insignificant when we're adults, maybe not when we're children, but it was 15 years after graduation. Anyways, um, and she ends up dead. So I haven't got much further in it. I'm maybe about 33% really enjoying it. I'm not, I'm not shocked that I am. I usually give um, the cupcake series mostly fours, 4.5s. I also came home and made uh, lunches for tomorrow. So my lunch is pretty boring because it's leftovers. It is the leftover beef and gravy tip. I'm also eating the leftover broccoli. And then for my fruit, I'm taking grapes. Probably hard to see. They're in this little pink cup right here. Just green grapes. I was gonna switch it up and take a banana tomorrow, but 
These were so good, and I don't normally say that about green grapes. So there you go with that. And then for breakfast, I'm gonna take a chicken patty. I know chicken patty seems weird for breakfast, but when you don't have a lot of choices, you do what you gotta do. Uh, the chicken patty is ground chicken and then a bunch of spices, garlic powder, onion powder, salt. That's about it. And then I'm taking two cranberry muffins. So Kevy's lunch is cauliflower again for the vegetable, ranch. He is taking mini corn dogs, which I made in the air fryer when I got home some mustard. He's taking some of the pickles that I had made because it what they what we don't get to at the end of this week I'm tossing. So he's taking those and he is also taking green grapes as his fruit tomorrow. And then he is taking the last uh, brownie from grandma's, the homemade brownie. She spoils him so. And his savory treat is this trail mix that looks like it has some spicy Tex-Mex kind of seasoning on it. It's got sesame seeds and nuts and I don't know, looks like maybe some gold first crackers or something along that line. So he is taking that. So those are our lunches. We are all set for tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. So it is Thursday morning. I forgot to do a check-in for yesterday, which would have been Wednesday, the, I don't know, 19th or 20th or something like that. Doesn't matter. Let me tell you about reading. Hi. It's hard to get both in, but y'all know what I look like. Hi. I am probably about 35% into Deadly Ever After. So that is the, there we go. That is the last book that's out. I think it's the eighth or ninth in the Lighthouse Library series. A new one's gonna come out next year. So then I will be caught up and that is on my SAS list. So I'm really excited about that. And this one, Connor and Lucy are supposed to be getting married and the old boyfriend Ricky and his mother who has tried to get them back together a couple times already in this series and break up Connor and Lucy is back again with the same shenanigans and her husband which would be Ricky's dad Richard the second or something ends up dead not very much further than that they've um I'm just thinking, I think you need to give it up. I think you need to give it up. But it's a little too much mama and, and somebody's love life for a 35 year old guy. So just saying, really enjoying it though. And I'm glad to be caught up on this series. All right, so lunches. Now let me readjust this. Let me know if you like seeing these lunches. I'm really having fun doing it. So um, Kevin is taking a complete Lunchable. So he's got Pepperoni slices, salami slices, green grapes, Ooh. a little silicone cup, broccoli and cauliflower. We mixed it up. He's got a little cup of peach yogurt and a little cup of ranch for his uh, broccoli and cauliflower. And then he's got a string cheese right here. So that is what is in the box. And then his treats are he's got these jalapeno cheddar cheetos he really likes those and a couple sandwich cookies two vanilla two chocolate so that is his lunch he doesn't probably eat all that and especially not just during lunch but he might snack on something else throughout the day and so i just pack it for him so he has it and then drinks he usually does water or gatorade sometimes tea sometimes yeah that sort of thing so I have a banana. Again, I probably won't eat all of this. I'll probably eat what's left over tomorrow and maybe take whatever else I need to to add to that. I'll show you, but anyways. Um, so I have those cranberry orange muffins that I made. I have one of those. I have an avocado, which I'll, um, I just like to cut up and um, put some lemon juice and salt on it. I have green grapes as well. And then in here is a spinach dip that I made. It's AIP spinach dip for my broccoli and cauliflower. I'm gonna have to try to find a different recipe. It's not horrible and it's definitely been um, usable because I love vegetables, but raw vegetables I don't like just plain. I wanna dip them in something. And I don't know that this is what I wanna dip them in. And then I have um, some of the chicken patties and I think I showed you a banana. So that is what I'm having. As far as the rest of the day, I don't go in till late today. Today is my very late day. 
and I'm going to probably maybe finish Deadly Ever After at work, just depending. And then I, I'm wrestling with what I'm going to start next. I'm not really sure, but I have a little bit of time to think before I get there. Hope everybody has a great day. Bye. Oh, I forgot the most important news. It was what I was planning on starting with. The Blues won last night, 3-1 over Vegas Knights. Go Blues!